Hey, what's up mga bubuyog? Your mat best friend is back for another video at ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa basic algebraic differentiation specifically guys kung paano kunin yung derivative of a product and derivative of a quotient. Okay guys, so let's start with the derivative of product. Here's the formula guys. When you have the derivative, the derivative of u times v is equal sa derivative ng v times u plus sa derivative ng u times v. Nakakaloka, di ba? Nung una rin, medyo nalilito rin ako. but ang daming ddd yan dito? <laughs> so, ayun guys. To make the long story short, no? Yung technique dito, ha? interpret natin yung formula, no? Derivative of v times u. Derivative of u times v. And so, basta yung technique doon, technique doon, kunan niyo yung derivative ng isa, tapos i-multiply nyo sa isa na hindi na derivative. Tapos, kunin niyo yung derivative ng kabila naman, tapos i-multiply nyo sa partner niya. Okay, so, mas maintindihan yan kapag may example. Okay, try natin to. Kunin natin yung derivative nito. So, find dy over dx. So, to, para kung babasahin to guys, this is the same as, uh, how do you call this? This is the same as derivative of y with respect to x. Oh, that's how to read this. Okay? So, so let's say that this is your u and this is your v, no? Okay? So para is para is solve to, guys. Try mo natin dito sa formula na to, ha. u, isulat muna natin yung u, di ba? So that's 1 plus x squared. Next is derivative ng v. Ito yung v. So kunin natin yung derivative nito. So Katulad ng mga... So, using the previous rules na napag-usapan natin, eh, masusolve natin to So, 3 since derivative of constants, that constants, constant, that's equal to 0, minus derivative of 2x is equal to 2 using the power rule, di ba? Tapos, plus, ngayon naman, yung v naman, no? So, that's equal to 3 minus 2x multiplied sa derivative ng u. Ito naman. So, that's gonna be 0 plus 2x. So, yun ngayon sinasabi ko kanina. Kunin nyo yung derivative nito, tapos i-multiply nyo dito. Go the other way around, kunin nyo naman yung derivative nito, tapos i-multiply nyo dito, and just get the sum. That's the derivative of a product. So, pwede na tong find, pwede na tong sagot, guys. Pero kapag may instruction na uh, in simplest form, syempre, kailangan natin yung i-simplify. So, let's go, guys. Simplify natin to. Diba? Ako lang konti. So, simplify natin to. Plus x squared times negative 2 plus 3 minus 2x times 2x. So, uh, distribute na lang natin. Kasi wala naman silang common factors. Eh. So, that's gonna be negative 2 minus 2x squared plus 2x times 3. That's gonna be 6x minus 4x squared. So, com uh, combine like terms, ito tsaka ito. So, yan magiging negative 6x squared plus 6x minus 2. So, ito guys, this can be your final answer. So, let's go naman. Okay guys, so let's go naman sa derivative of a quotient. So, yung formula nun, eh, andito lang yan. So, that's gonna be v times, deriv times derivative of u minus u times derivative of v over v squared. Okay. Me yun nga, sabi ko nga medyo, medyo nakakalito siya, no? Kailangan bang natin i-memorize yung formula or hindi? So, para sa akin, I'll explain it to in the more simpler way. Baka mas maintindihan nyo kasi hmm, di ko mini-memorize talaga yung formula. Sometimes, I get to understand and okay na yun para hindi mo naalalahan kung ano ba yung ulit yung formula. Okay guys, remember, basta yung technique dito guys, kung makikita nyo, derivative ng u is nasa numerator. Derivative ng v, yung v is sa denominator. So, bale... Ito guys, hindi nyo na ito pwedeng ipag-interchange unlike doon sa product rule kasi addition lang yun, kahit magkapalit-palit yun, okay lang. E dito, minus kasi ito. So, hindi mo nyo yun, hindi mo yan pwedeng ipagpalit na ito, dito siya. So, always guys, na yung mauna is yung derivative ng numerator. no Derivative ng numerator, tapos it times mo yung denominator, minus derivative ng denominator naman, multiply mo sa nasa numerator. So, numerator minus denominator. Don't forget that. Okay, so try natin isolve yung ito. Guys, so let's find the derivative of y with respect to x. Technique ko nga, derivative muna ng numerator. So that's, ano ba yung derivative ng x? We know that's derivative of x is equal to 1. Tapos i-multiply natin yung denominator, which is x squared plus 1. Minus, ngayon naman, derivative naman ng denominator. Ano ba yung derivative ng denominator natin? That's gonna be 
2x plus 0, huwag nating isulat kasi 0 lang din naman, times yung numerator. Okay? So, that's over v squared. Ito yung v natin, yung buong denominator, yung v. So, that's gonna be x squared plus 1 raised to 2. Okay? So, kapag uh, walang simplify your answer, that can be your final answer. Na? Pero, mas magandang isimplify pa rin natin. And always take note, guys, uh, the simplified version is the factored form. Simplify natin ito. Dito muna tayo sa numerator. No? That's gonna be x squared plus 1 minus 2x times x. That's gonna be 2x squared over x squared plus 1 squared. Okay? So, that's gonna be x squared plus 1 minus 2x squared, guys. So, pwede natin combine yung like terms. Yung x squared at 2x squared. Yan magiging negative x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared. So, yun guys. This can now be your final answer. Negative x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared. Huwag nyo, hindi nyo na kailangan siyang expand kasi nga, sabi nga natin kanina, the simplified version is good as the factored form. So, naka-factor out na siya. Huwag na natin siyang expand. Kakalip, basta yung technique dito, no? kahit huwag nyo nang i-memorize yung formula, basta alalahanin nyo, nakurin nyo yung derivative ng numerator, yung partner nun, i-multiply nyo na lang yung denominator. Tapos minus derivative ng derivative ng denominator, tapos i-multiply nyo sa yung numerator. So parang numerator minus denominator. Yun, okay? Don't forget that that's over v squared. Practice lang guys, masasanay din kayo din nyo na kailangan i-memorize yung formula. Alright? No problem. So that's y is equal to x turbanus turbanus. So solve natin. Let's find the derivative of y with respect to x. Kung makikita nyo yung numerator natin, pwede natin yan simplify Mas maganda, simplify na natin yan bago tayo mag-proceed para hindi maraming rules yung magamit natin kasi mas mahirap yun eh. Pero both will yield the same answer naman. Okay? So, pa so para sa akin, i-distribute muna natin yan. So ito, magiging x squared plus x over 2x minus 1. Okay, so let's find the derivative of that. Para makuha yung derivative nito sa uh, quotient, kagamit tayo ng quotient rule, no? Kagamit tayo ng quotient rule. So ito, ito guys, magiging derivative muna ng numerator, sabi ko nga, ba? Numerator minus denominator. So anong derivative ng numerator natin? That's gonna be 2x plus 1. Tapos, i-multiply natin yung derivative ng denominator, ay, derivative. So, i-multiply natin yung denominator, which is 2x minus 1. Minus, derivative naman ng denominator. Derivative ng denominator natin, guys, is simply 2. Tapos, i-multiply natin dito sa numerator. So, that's gonna be x squared plus x over v squared. And v squared is ito mismo. So, that's gonna be 2x minus 1 squared. So, yan, simplify natin yan, guys. Kung makikita nyo, ito, difference of 2 squares. So, yan, magiging 2x squared is 4x squared minus 1 minus 2x squared plus x. Okay? Plus 2x over 2x minus 1 squared. So, ngayon, guys, uh, combine like terms natin. So, that's gonna be 4x squared minus 1 minus 2x squared minus 2x Baba lang natin yan saglit over 2x minus 1 squared. So, ito guys, pwede natin yung masolve yan bilang 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared, no? Minus 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 squared. So, ayan. Kapag wala nang pwedeng masimplify, then that will be your final answer. So, so, so ayan nga guys. No, as I was saying, so, ayan nga guys. That's the derivative of product and derivative of quotient. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yung derivative of product. Yun nga. Note, kahit pagbalik tarin niyo yung dalawang to, okay lang yan. Okay? So, kunin niyo yung derivative ng isa, tapos multiply niyo sa isa. And do the other way around, then add them up. Then you get the derivative of product. Next, we have also the derivative of a quotient, guys. Yun nga, huwag niyong kakalimutan na derivative of numerator minus derivative of denominator. Okay? That's the technique there. Huwag hindi niyo pwedeng pagpalitin kung anong mauna dito kasi subtraction yan. Magkakabali kayo. Okay? So, uh, I think that's it mga bis, no? Please like, share, and subscribe kapag may, may, ka, kapag may mga katanungan kayo. I comment down below. Try natin yung sasagutan. Okay?
So, yun nga. Practice lang, guys. Medyo mahirap sa una, pero practice makes perfect. Alright? So, that's it, mga bis. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye, mga bis.